Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So this is the latest NX 2306 version which is recently released in the month of June 2023. So it has a lot of useful features that are updated which will increase your time efficiency as well as productivity when you are working with NX. I'm going to discuss about these features in the future videos so please stay connected with our channel and you're going to get all the updates as soon as possible. So in this video I'm going to tell you what are the different types of coordinate system and what is coordinate system. So whenever you start working as a beginner in NX application you may have heard this word a lot of times that is work coordinate system, absolute coordinate system and then datum coordinate system. There may be a lot of you know confusion between all these three kinds of coordinate system. So I'm sure that this confusion is going to be cleared with you when you watch this complete video. So before going to start all these three kinds of coordinate system, I'm going to tell you what is coordinate system. So coordinate system is a system uh, that uses x, y, z coordinates in order to define the geometry location. Say for example, you have any sketch over here and you are going to define that sketch uh, with some distance or angle from the x, y, z coordinates. So that is why this coordinate system is existing. So now we are going to discuss about what are the different three kinds of coordinate system and why there are three different coordinate system and how to use these kind of coordinate system. So there are three types of coordinate system in a NX application. First one is going to be a datum coordinate system. Second will be absolute coordinate system and third will be work coordinate system. So we are going to discuss what is uh, you now all of these and how we can create these work coordinate systems in NX. So now we can see here I have created a simple model file here. So this is going to be a modeling file. So how we are going to get it? You can see here there is an NX modeling. So it means that you are there in a modeling workbench. Suppose if you go to application and sheet metal. So it is going to show you sheet metal as a work application. So now I am I'm going to switch it to modeling workbench okay so once you're in a modeling workbench or sheet metal or in any other workbench you are going to have one coordinate system so this is going to be a default coordinate system so this is created from the template from the nx application suppose if you go to part navigator you can able to see this coordinate system you can see here this is going to be coordinate system so whatever the coordinate system that is created in a NX template is going to be your datum coordinate system. So this is not a work coordinate system and as well as this is not a absolute coordinate system. So this is going to be a datum coordinate system and on which you are going to create all the features, all the models and everything on this datum coordinate system. Okay. And one more thing here is using this datum coordinate system, you can move the datum coordinate system or a feature from one place to another place. So you can see here, this is the datum coordinate system. You can just double click on this. Okay. You can see this handle and you can move it from one place to another place. You can see here, this has been moved from one place to another place. So once this is moved, say for example, I'm going to create a sketch here. So I'm going to select this sketch. Okay. And I'm going to create a line here. Okay. I'll just finish the sketch and using this datum coordinate system, you can move the other features also. So I'll just move this coordinate system. So along with this, the sketch will also move. Okay. This is what when it comes to a datum coordinate system. Datum coordinate system is will be created when it is a new file is created. So it comes from NX modeling template and we can able to move the features, whatever that is created on this datum coordinate system along with the features okay so this is going to be a datum coordinate system so next comes absolute coordinate system so absolute coordinate system is always will be there in whenever the new file is created but it will not be as shown so suppose if you want to show this you can just go to datum and coordinate system here and here you can just select the absolute coordinate system and you can just click ok so once you do this this is going to be your absolute coordinate system which will be created okay so absolute coordinate system cannot be moved from one place to another place say for example now if i double click on this 
and you cannot see any option here to move from one place to another place so this is going to be a fixed coordinate system that is existing in nx and also since this cannot be moved whatever the sketch features or whatever the model feature that you are going to create on this absolute coordinate system cannot be moved from one place to another place and here one more the difference is datum coordinate system you can able to create n numbers so you can create multiple numbers of you know datum coordinate system in your work part but absolute coordinate system will be only one you cannot create more than one okay so this is going to be our absolute coordinate system so and the last we have work coordinate system so work coordinate system is introduced long back it has been introduced and it has no application as of now it is a legacy datum coordinate system it has been followed in the latest version also so how we are going to activate or show the work coordinate system so whenever you are into a 3d workbench or any workbench you can just hit w okay so as soon as you hit w you can see these arrows okay so i'm going to hide this so you can see this is going to be our work coordinate system and this can be moved from one place to another place so you can just go to here and double click on this so it can be moved from one place to another place but whatever the features that you are going to create on this will not be moved okay so this is and also the work coordinate system will be only one you cannot be able to create any other work coordinate system in one part okay so here only thing is datum coordinate system whatever we have created here so this can be created in multiple numbers but whatever absolute coordinate system and work coordinate system will be remains only one so now what i am going to discuss with you is how we can create a different types of datum coordinate system so we can only create n number of datum coordinate system so how we can create we have multiple options here you can just go to datum coordinate system and the first one will be dynamic dynamic is the one which uh, suppose if you want it here it will create one point so you can just input the points or you can so you can able to move this uh, whatever the handles and you can able to create a datum coordinate datum coordinate system with a dynamic option and in the dynamic option you can able to choose the reference what reference if you want to keep it so if i give wcs you can see here our whatever the coordinate system is going to be a wcs and from here if you want 10 mm distance you can just enter it here okay and if you want to keep it as from the absolute coordinate system so absolute coordinate system will be here it cannot be moved and from here if you want to give 10 mm you can just give it and if you want to make it as 90 degree angle rotation so you can just give it okay and suppose if you want to create it from any selected coordinate system so this is going to be my selected coordinate system from this coordinate system as a reference 50 mm away if you want to create you can you can just move it 50 mm and you can just click ok the coordinate system will be created so you can able to create a coordinate system in a dynamic coordinate system you can give a reference it may be a coordinate system that is already existing in a part or it may be a work coordinate system or it may be an absolute coordinate system okay so by using these references you can able to create a particular coordinate system in a dynamic way and also if you want to create directly you can just uh, give it as a you can just select the points and it can able to create a particular coordinate system and you can just give whatever the angle you want and it is going to create a particular coordinate system okay so the next option will be you can see here inferred so inferred is you know combination of all these three so it depends on how you are going to give a input say suppose if you select this it will be taking as an uh, x direction and it, it is going to take a y direction and z direction so according to that it is going to create a one more datum plane over here so this is the way how you can use this inferred option inferred option it is not recommended you, you need to select only planes you can able to select a curves you can able to select a point whatever the things you can able to select and based on that it is going to create a datum coordinate system and the next we have is origin x and y point okay so now what i'm going to do is i'll just create a simple model so i'll just go to sketch environment on this plane and let me create a simple model here and i'll just finish this let me create extrude this okay 
so this i'm going to extrude so on this model i'm going to show you how we can create a datum coordinate system in different ways so let me go to uh, datum plane and here and here you can see now i'm going to go to origin x and y point so now suppose if you want to keep this as a origin you can select this or if you want to select a point as a origin so you can just select this and my x point x point is going to be this side and y point is going to be this side so you can see here x direction is along this and y direction is along this and you can just click apply it is going to create a coordinate system so here you need to give three points that is origin point x point and y point okay so the next option will be on x axis y axis and origin so here we have to provide a origin you can see here origin so i'm going to select this point and x axis and y axis so we need to provide a vector here instead of points okay so vector may be uh, along this direction you can see as it will be on a downward direction and y axis let me select this axis okay so now i can see here so this is going to be my x direction and this is going to be my y direction so this is how you can create a using this vector option so if you have a vector you can just provide by using this if you have a points you can just go to this origin x point y point okay so these are three three methods are same so x axis y axis and origin so z axis x axis and origin and z axis y axis and origin so these three remains the same so two vectors you need to provide and one point of origin you need to provide okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this plane x axis and point so here you can see here the for z axis you need to provide a plane say for example i'm going to create a coordinate similar to this one so my plane will be this for for z axis and then my plane for x axis will be this okay and the origin point may be this okay so you can see here x axis is along this direction and sorry z axis is along this direction and x axis is along this direction and you can see the coordinate system is being created okay and then we have multiple options you can see three planes so three planes by using three planes you can able to give so first one will be x direction say whenever you select a face the so normal to that face will be considered as a vector okay so normal to this will be x axis so this is going to be my x direction and this is going to be my y direction and this is going to be my z direction and you can see you cannot able to create a point here so whenever the all the faces will you know meet each other so there a point will be created on that point uh, datum coordinate to axis will be created okay so now absolute coordinate system we have already discussed and offset to any coordinate system suppose if you want to create some offset from this coordinate system from this coordinate system or any other coordinate system you can use this option so suppose if you want any coordinate system from this so along x direction some angle say for example 100 mm okay at 100 mm axis there will be one more coordinate system suppose if you want to input y direction and x direction and some angle also you can just provide it over here and you can just click apply coordinate system will be created so i'm going to discuss only which are most useful here so now suppose if you need in some angle so you can just go to dynamic way and you can just select this and move it along and any direction say for example like this if you want to create you can just make an angle and you can just give it okay so this is a way how we can create a datum different kinds of datum coordinate system so you can only create a datum coordinate system and work coordinate and absolute coordinate system will be remains only one and um, now you can see suppose if you are already created and if you want to edit it you can just double click on this and you can just uh, change the directions and you can able to move it or change the whatever the datum coordinate system but make sure that whenever you move this coordinate system whatever the features that you have created on this datum coordinate system is going to move from that origin position to the next position okay so hope you understand all the different types of coordinate system so suppose if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys